Hey guys, my name is Supriya and uh, today I'm going to start my YouTube channel with some hooping uh, videos, some tricks, some movements, some flow dance, a lot of things are going to come up. So this is the first one and uh, in this video I'm going to start off with the basics, okay? The basics mean waist hooping, right? So we are going to start with the waist hooping. Uh, I'm super excited to get you guys excited about your hoop journey and um, yeah, so let's get started, okay? Now this is is a big size hoop that reaches till my belly button okay if you have if you're a beginner then you have to make sure that it uh, reaches your belly button too okay this is one size bigger for me but I've used this because you guys can see the flow much better okay so without wasting much time let's get started how do you do waist hooping there are two techniques okay number one is going left and right left and right okay I'm making another video which where I'm showing the warm-up so make sure that you watch that before you you know come for this one anyway so moving on what you do is make sure that your hoop is on your back okay touching your back it should not be in the air when you're throwing it make sure it's touching your back push yourself on the right side or the left side whichever is your comfortable side to go with okay push yourself that side get ready for this movement so this is something that you need to do before you start okay do this also make sure that you know your legs are not too far apart from each other you know they are like really close like not so close not with your knees joined but a little distance apart not you're not standing on your toes you're not standing on your heels you have a good grounding okay make sure you have that and then just keep the hoop straight not up not down straight straight from your waist okay once you have got all of these things in place, then nobody can stop you, okay? All you want to do is push yourself on the right, one, two, three, push. And as you push, just for the first time, I just want you to observe how the hoop moves on your body and goes down. So you saw what happened there. Even if I'm not moving my belly at all, the hoop moves there for some time. That happens because of the first force that you give. The force that you give is very, very, very important, okay? So make sure that your force is good. Now, all you have to do is go back down again, pick up your hoop, bring it back to your, you know, back. Make sure it's touching your back when you're starting it up. And this time when you move to the side and push it, I want you to pay attention to your belly, okay? Because we are going to do the movement of moving your belly left and right. I'm going to show you. One, two, three, push. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So all I'm doing is throwing my belly left and right, okay? Making sure that when the hoop touches on the right, I push it. When the hoop touches on the left, I push it. So left, right, 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 left, right. It helps if you keep saying that to yourself because in the beginning it can get a little bit confusing. I get that, okay? So just do it left and right, left and right, left and right. And if it falls like that, <laughs> then you just pick it up again and start again all right it's okay it will fall for the first time but uh, you should not focus, focus on the fall because you know right now we are all learning so and there should be no inhibition when you're learning learn like a child okay so pick it up again and put it on your waist one two three go again left right left right left right some of you might be getting confused about what to do with your hands because they keep going down and dropping it okay most of the times your hoops are falling because you're putting your elbow in or something okay so make sure you don't do that push it okay and go left right left right left right your arms up you can either hold them together keep them behind your neck okay or just hold them from the sides certain ways or you can go just daydream yeah so do left and right left and right left and right left and right this is how you do it okay i'm not moving too much but you will have to make sure that you're throwing your waist completely from side to side side to side okay cool now this was the first technique where we go left to right left to right the other technique is you know where you put your dominant leg forward okay one leg forward okay and you same thing you keep your hoop on the waist make sure it's touching your back it's not too low not too up it's right here in the distance and you go one two three this time also I don't want you to do anything just observe the movement okay let it go down once you're ready you pick it up one two three again and this time one two three you push it 
go front and back, front and back, front and back, front and back. Now the force is going this way. I'm shifting the weight from my belly to my toes, you know. I'm pushing on my toes, taking the weight there and going front and back, front and back, front and back. Now you see if the hoop is a little slanting, that's because your spine is not straight. Keep your spine straight, it comes back up, you go front and back, front and back, front and back. Okay, make sure you're telling yourself that you have to go front and back, front and back. And if it falls, pick it up again and start doing. Very important, okay? We are all learning here. So, you know, you have to make sure that you're not really frustrating yourself by telling yourself the wrong things like, Oh, it's not happening. Oh, when is it going to happen? Oh my God. No. Okay. Yeah, I, I get that. It's natural. It will happen. Right. But what you do after that is very important that you go down again, pick it up again and start doing it again. Yeah. So either you go front and back, front and back, or you go left and right, left and right. Okay. It can get a little tricky in the beginning, but we are here to learn, okay? So for the next 21 days, we are going to learn a lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of tricks, and I'm super excited to teach you all. And I hope you guys have the same energy as me to be excited about what you're going to do today and so far, in, uh, so, so far. Ah, I'm excited about what you're going to do today in the class and what you're going to do ahead, okay? So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video and if you know somebody who wants to learn hooping, you can please feel free to share this video with them and also subscribe to my channel if you can. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Happy hooping.